Hi, my name is Stella and I'm a violin teacher and on today's lesson I will teach you how to play on the violin the song Sailing on the Ocean. So get your violin, tune your violin, put some rosin on the bow and let's get started. I would like to start by explaining the rhythm pattern, the time signature, the key signature that we are in. As you see, we are here on the key of C major. There's no accidentals and the rhythm pattern is tika tika ti tika, one of them. And the other rhythm pattern is ti ti ta. And the other one is tika 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 ti. The time signature is 2-4, that means two beats in each measure. Key signature is C major. And the tika 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 means four sixteenth notes, that means one beat. T tika, that's another beat. So we have an eighth note followed by two sixteenth notes, which makes one beat. On the next measure, the second measure is T T ta, and we know two TTs, that means two eighth notes, which makes one beat, and the ta is another beat, which makes in total two beats. So on the measure three, we have also tika tika ti tika, same as the first measure, followed by the fourth measure, which is the same as the second measure, and the fifth measure is the same as the first measure, and also the third measure. Then we have the sixth measure, which is the same as the second and the fourth measure. And we have the seventh measure, which is tika 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 ti. And also we have the eighth measure, which is ti ti ta. And we know that ti ti is one beat and ta is one beat. So starting with the first measure, we have here the rhythm pattern tika tika ti tika. So sailing on the ocean, the, those are the words. And we are playing here between two strings, D and A. So D, D and A. Okay, so after you have tuned your violin, then you have put some rosin on the bow. Then we get started. So the first note is G on the D string with the third finger. So we find the G by playing each note one by one. D, E, F sharp, and G. Then you can check with the open G string. And it's correct. So now you can start playing. So now you can start playing. So I start at the middle of the bow because here we have 16th notes, which we call them detache, and we play them at the middle of the bow. And we, we have a T. And then tika again. You see how I hold the fingers down? I have the G on the D string and I have the B on the A string with the first finger. And I'm holding both. I'm not picking up the fingers at all. I'm holding them down. And then I'm just moving the bow from one string to the next string. And you can practice that before you play the notes, moving the bow from D string to A string. D, A, D, A. When I'm playing the T, I'm using more bow, so I'm going towards the tip of the bow, then there I'm playing the other tikas. 
which are two B notes. Then I'm going to the second measure, which is G and E. G with the third finger and E with the first finger. So I'm at the tip of the bow playing the TTs. And then I have a TA, which is a D open D string. And I have to use almost the whole bow. Almost, I have to use up to the middle because I need to play the TICAS again, which are on the third measure. So we repeat the same notes. So the third measure has G, G, B, B, G, B, B. So it's the same notes, the same rhythm pattern as the first measure. Then on the fourth measure I have D with the third finger on A string. Followed by an A, open A string. So the D, the T, T are played at the tip of the bow. Then I'm going to the fifth measure and I have B, B, D, D, E, D, D. So you can play the E with the open string or you can play with the fourth finger. to the sixth measure which is B G B so B with the first finger on A string and then G third finger on D string so it's T T ta the rhythm pattern and I'm going to the seventh measure which is G and E and D. So it's tika 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 T, the rhythm pattern. Here is different than the other rhythm patterns. In the beginning we have tika tika T tika. Here is the opposite, tika 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 T. Okay? So let's repeat that one more time. See, I'm playing all the notes in the middle of the bow, here on the middle. And then I'm playing the last measure, which is B, A, G. So that's the whole song, measure by measure. So now let's try to play from the beginning, slowly, together, okay? So we have the first measure, and we have to find the G. So in the middle, we start here. putting any vibrato I'm just playing simple for the beginners the level one without any vibrato on it so just to make sure that your notes are correct you have to play slow 
and make sure you check each note before you go to the next note like I did like with open strings you can check always with the open string D A E and G okay so now let's play a little bit faster so ready one two ready go repeat as many times as you like. So now I'm gonna get the tambourine and sing it together with you on the tambourine or you can make your own drum. So I got my tambourine and my drumstick and now I'm ready to sing. Are you ready? If you are, join me. So the first verse starts like this. Two. Selling on the ocean, the tide rolls high. Selling on the ocean, the tide rolls high. Selling on the ocean, the tide rolls high. You can find a pretty girl by and by. Find me a pretty girl, stay all day. Find me a pretty girl, stay all day. Find me a pretty girl. the old folks say eight in a boat and it won't go round eight in a boat and it won't go round eight in a boat and it won't go round you can lose that pretty girl you just found so now i would like to explain to you how you can play this singing game so first of all, you have to make a circle. You have to have at least 12 people. So you have to choose two people from the circle and you have to bring them inside the circle. The rest of the kids, the children outside the circle, they hold hands and they have to walk on the beat while they're singing the verse. Meanwhile, the children inside the circle, they have to walk on the opposite direction of the big circle. At the end of the first verse, on the words by and by, the two children that are inside the circle, they have to grab two other children from the outside circle and bring them inside the circle. At this point, they have to hold hands together and sing the second verse and also the big circle outside have to sing and hold hands. Meanwhile, they're just rotating on different directions, one circle on the left, the other one the people that are inside the circle, they have to go on the left side. When they stop singing the second verse, on the third verse, the children that are inside the circle, they have to grab each other's arms and they have to skip around the circle with holding each other's arms. Meanwhile, the outside circle stops and claps the beat and sings the verse. So that's how you play this song. And I hope you have fun with it and you enjoy it. So here we are at the end of another lesson. I hope this was helpful and you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.